been an arrest in a double homicide involving two teenagers in Orange County. The mom of one of those victims, Devin Clark, just spoke to our sister station WGHP. Here's how she reacted the moment she heard the news. It was a big relief, big pain relief from my heart. You know, it still hurts, but it was a big relief. It was like, I'm so shocked right now. I don't know if I want to cry, just be happy, or what. It's just, it's just a lot. It's, it means a lot to me. Wow. Why do you say you were shocked? Was it because the days just kept it's going just by? It's just because um, I was just in process to just go talk to my lawyer today to find out some information or do what I was going to do, whatever. And I got a phone call, and it was, did I know that the person was in custody? And it was a shock in me because it was like, I just left my lawyer, and I didn't hear nothing about nobody being in custody. So it was like, wow, like, oh, my God, are you serious? Is this real? So it was, it was a lot for me to take on right then, but I was happy at the same time. Wow, wow. And it was the sheriff himself, the Orange County Sheriff, who called you this afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that conversation like? What was he able to tell you? He was just um, asked who I, you know, who I was. I told him who I was. And he was just telling me that um, they have the 17-year-old 17 ju 17 juvenile in custody. And I was asking questions like, well, can you tell me who it was? But, and they informed me that they couldn't tell me at this time because he's 17, he's a juvenile, and they have to, you know, process him and get everything situated to charging for the adult. Once they get all that information, they will put in, you know, breaking news with the information of who the person might be. Okay, okay. So in the meantime, is that, you talked about the relief, but is that also hard to still not know to put a it name is. or a face? It's still hard, but I'm not finished with justice yet, though. Justice is still, it's still going to be going. I'm going to still get some more answers because just because they got a person in custody don't mean that it's over and done with. It would never be over and done with. It's more to this case than what it is. So I'm going to keep fighting to find out what's going on with this case. Wow. And of course, we'll have much more on the story for you coming up tonight at 5. And you can also head over to our website, CBS17.com. We have all the developments from this story there as well.